An interface is a programming structure that allows certain properties of a class to be enforced. The character structure will be utilized various times, so we create an interface for it. We wish to convert the properties we initialized into its own interface. Inside our app folder we create a folder called Interfaces. This will be where all of our interfaces will be. We create a file called character.ts. Note the capital C at the beginning of the file name for interfaces. We cut and paste our initialized variables from our characters component class and paste it into the character interface. We need to start the interface by typing in export interface character with a capital C, which will be an object of the pasted variables. Since the interface is being exported, we can access it by importing it in the character component file. We use dot dot slash twice to move up two directories and navigate into the interfaces folder and access character. To use the interface set character equal to the character interface. This will let us use the character interface structure for us to assign the correct variable types. We use the this.character syntax to access the interface and set it equal to the object with all of the assigned variables. We can remove the this keyword as we have now accessed the interface that contains these properties already. Since we are using an object interface we use the colon instead of the equal sign and separate key value pairs by a comma. We need to restart the server for our interface to be activated. We remove console logs and methods we no longer desire. Since we are using the character object interface, to access values via string interpolation we need to prefix our variables with character. This results in our variables being displayed in the browser as desired. To recap, we created a character interface in its own file and exported it so it's available to access as we will desire more characters for our application in the future. We import it into the characters component and set character such that we use the character interface. Inside our lifecycle method we have created this dot character object which ensures that our variable types are consistent with it of the interface. We then used string interpolation to output class properties into the browser. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.